Bitcoin is at a critical point in the market. If we lose this specific level, we are going to crash down to probably the 50K level. A lot of people are expecting the 50K level though, so it's beginning to become a crowded trade. I'm gonna show you what I'm seeing in the charts, what we need to pull off a bullish recovery, and what we need to watch out for in the event that we are going to take out the lows and head to lower levels. Let's get into it. your host JT and here on the channel we focus on Bitcoin technical analysis and fundamental analysis if you like making money in crypto then I encourage you to hit the subscribe button don't forget to leave it a like and check out the links below so that you can gain access to our free trading discord server okay so we're going to start things off by taking a look at Bitcoin on the daily chart alpha new metrics is bearish we got a bearish signal here at around sixty seven thousand dollars all of our moving averages in bearish alignment so this is not good it's indicating that there is a lull in the market is this lull going to be continued consolidation or is this giving us hints to lower prices when i turn on the line chart i'm able to establish this trading range i have adjusted the trading range it was a horizontal trading range i'm now looking at things from more of a downwards sloping trading range which isn't a bad thing by the way a lot of people think that a downtrend uh, is a bad thing but when you're in a bull market and you're in a consolidation you'll often see these downward sloping uh, trading ranges develop. We're in this range. Let's turn alphanumetrics off for just a moment. So this level at the bottom of the trading range, it has to hold. If we test the bottom of the range and we fall through it, it's not looking good for the bulls. It's showing the market that we don't have enough demand to protect that critical level. And it will be very likely that we head down to lower levels. So the area of interest for me is kind of this order block down here where we actually exited the bottom of the channel. I'm looking for a retest somewhere in the 60 to $59,000 range. So the best case scenario for what I'm looking for is maybe a move down, test the bottom of the range, get some sort of a double bottom, and then get past the heart line of the channel. If we can get past the heart line of the channel and then exit the channel to the upside, that's gonna be a very clear sign to the market that the bulls are back in control. So watch out for this lower level, place bids if you're feeling frisky, and that would be my bullish case scenario. Furthermore, if we turn on our VPVR, our volume profile visible range, we can see that the point of control is right around $67,000. If we just mark that area down, we can see that it has been uh, resistance, support, resistance, resistance. We got a breakout at that level, came down below, held it as support, support, resistance, resistance. So if price can get back above the $67,000 range, that to me is going to show that the bulls are back in control and that we actually have the ability to head up to higher levels. So do watch out for that price, $67,000. Now let's take a look at the bearish case scenario. Whenever you're doing your analysis, you have to look at what the bullish scenario is going to be and you have to look at what the bearish scenario is going to be so that you can act accordingly depending on what the price and what the market is showing you at the time that it is showing you. So like we mentioned, this area is a very important level the 60k level that 59 to 60k level is a very important level to hold if we break below that as well as break below this 56.5 level that's going to be a clear indication that the bulls are not present and we are going to experience further downside and where this downside could take us we have a better picture of that on the daily chart so let's turn the daily back on let's turn alpha new metrics back on and my area of interest is down here at the wave the wave is currently red indicating that there is a loss of momentum indicating that supply is higher than demand right currently sitting at a price of, of around fifty thousand dollars so if we do lose this level I think it's very likely that we come down to this order block right here previous to the initial breakout where we would come and uh, at least retest somewhere around the $50,000 to $52,000 level. This would also bring us to the low end of the range on the RSI, which is always a good thing. If we get what's called a green diamond, you can see previously, anytime we get a green diamond, it's usually a bullish, uh, it's usually a bullish trade. We had a green diamond here, that marked a rally of around 60%. We got a green diamond here that marked a rally of, again, 60%. 
You got a green diamond here that marked a rally of 180%. So these green diamonds are nothing to fade. There are very important metrics that we've incorporated into the alpha new metrics indicator. And if we do head down to the 50 level, I think we're going to get a green diamond on the daily, which is going to be just no questions asked. That, that's a buy. And that's it. I just wanted to hop on, give you guys a quick update as to what I'm seeing in the market. We have our bullish case scenario. We have our bearish case scenario. Right now we're in the middle of the range. So it's a no trade environment uh, if you are trading hey follow the links down below help support our work and if you're interested in getting access to our trades our entries exits take profits stop losses all of that information can be found in the description down below or you can scan this qr code popping up on the screen right now and that'll get you a direct access into the discord server that is all the time i have for today if you guys enjoyed this content please leave it a like don't forget to subscribe and until next time please trade safe it is a jungle out there. Peace.